afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video I am going to be starting our full book colour along um, and you guys voted for Tales from the Witch's Cottage by the incredible Hannah Carlson. Um, this is my second copy of the book um, and I've noticed that I have started two pages in here already. Um, this one which I think was for a community buddy colour um, a while back. Um, I, I didn't come back to it and then I had also started this one. Um, <clears throat> this one doesn't really have an awful lot done on it. I, I just took a black micron pen and sort of done the background here and then the little bits on our, on our beetles. Um, and this is the page that I thought it would be really nice for us to start with because it's it's quite a simplistic page. Um, you know, yes, we've got these little bits going on around the outside, but I think overall this is, you know, one of those kind of easier pages in the book. So I thought it might, might be nice to just sort of break ourselves in slowly um, and start with this one. So I really hope you guys don't mind that it's a page that I have already started. Um, but yeah, like I said, all I've done um, is took a black black micron pen and just sort of coloured around the, the edges. I think that was a time when I wasn't feeling grey um, and I didn't really have much of a, a colouring mojo then. So I just, yeah, just blacked out the background behind all these bits in the, in the background. Um, but this is a really, really beautiful book um, and I'm so excited to work on it with you guys. In my original copy, I had done this double page spread and it had been a whip for a really long time and I, I wasn't happy how it came out. So I'm excited to have another go, you know, and get another opportunity here. So, yeah, I thought we would start with this page. So I really hope that you guys don't mind. For those of you who voted, thank you so incredibly much. And also for those of you who are going to be joining along, I cannot wait to start the journey through this book with you. Um, we'll probably do like one page a month um, and just sort of see how we go. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to get started on this with you um, and just see how we go. So what I'm going to do is just zoom you in. And I have decided to pull out my Prismacolor pencils. I haven't used these in such a long time and I've I've really missed them. So because this is a colour along, I will give you the colours that I will be using. So um, if you don't have Prismacolors, it's fine. Use whatever colours you like, um, whatever pencils you like. You don't have to colour this exactly the same as me, um, but I have labelled it a colour along. Therefore, I will be giving you the colours that I use throughout this process. So we're going to be starting with the candles here on our bug. So for the candles, I have pulled out seashell pink which is PC1093, peach beige which is 1085 and PC914. Now what I will do, I will list the colours here on the screen for you um, and I will just keep those three colours up until we're moving on to the next element on the page. So what we're going to do is start with our seashell pink and this is going to be our darkest colour on, on the candles. So I'm just going to put this on sort of like, you know, one, one bit, one sort of side of the wax where, wherever that's dripping or whatnot. I just felt like some of the peachy, orangey, yellowy colours were just a bit a bit too much. You know, I want I, I want those more so for the flames. So um yeah I I was looking through and I I tried these colours and I thought it looked actually quite nice together, quite subtle. So 
So we're just going to put that by the edges, just where we think, you know, it might just be a little bit darker. Again, like I've said, you can, you know, can colour this however you like. It's, it's your book. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to start this with you all and for us to work through a Hannah Carl's on book together. If you've been with me for a while, you know that she is one of my top five favourite artists. I absolutely adore Hannah Carl's on. And I haven't coloured one of her pages for quite some time. So, yeah, it's really nice to be sat down at the desk and just kind of, you know, rectifying that now um, and getting, you know, getting a page of hers done. Now, I might set you guys sort of little tasks if I think, okay, you know, if you want to colour bits in your own time off camera and then we'll sort of resume back together in part two. We'll just, you know, we'll just see how it goes. I think that's all we can do really, isn't it? Now I will warn you, I'm not very good at doing the whole light source thing. Um, I'll try and, you know, find some some videos on how to create a light source sort of from a candle. Um, and then, you know, whatever I find, I will link in the description of, of this video for you. And I will, you know, obviously give the channel name and whatnot. Just because, like I said, I, I, I don't know how to. So I, I need to learn as well. And I think it's really nice if there's just things that, you know, we're, we're kind of all learning together along the way. I think that makes this process, you know, more enjoyable as well. So now I'm going to go in with the peach beige, which is PC1085. And I'm just going to overlap that a little bit on the seashell pink but also just bring it out a little bit and I'm using quite a light pressure because I do want to keep this wax quite light um, because I'm tempted to kind of do you know something really nice with the background maybe with some watercolors um, yeah we'll, we'll see but just slightly over that seashell pink in little circles quite gently and then you get a nice soft blend and don't forget prism colours are wax pencils so you're not going to be able to layer them for days but you know you can layer them a, a, a few times but we just want to try and avoid getting a wax bloom on our page so if we could avoid that then that would be great okay and then I'm going to go in with cream which is PC914 and I'm just going to put that over the other colours and also where we've got that dark as a bit of a highlight and just run the cream over like so Okay, and then I'm just going to repeat the process. So we're going to go back with the seashell pink, 
just make sure we've got those areas darkened up to our liking. If we do deepen that bit there up a little bit. There we go. as well I think. So I'm using you know sort of like a medium pressure now. I just really want to try and get those you know those darker bits in but also still be mindful that it's it's candle wax so I do still want to keep it quite light. And then back in with the peach beige which is 1085 and again, just do what we've done before, light pressure, slightly over the seashell pink and bring it out a little bit. Just moving the pencils in small little circles and you get a really nice soft blend. And then again with the cream which is PC914. So how is everyone? How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. Having a lovely week. I'm recording this on the, uh, let me think, the 6th of September, Friday the 6th. So hopefully I will have this video up for you over the weekend. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with my Caran d'Ache Luminance in the colour Buff Titanium, which is 801. Um, this is my absolute favourite pencil of all time for adding highlights and blending and smushing colours together and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to put this a little bit where... I would like my lighter bits of the candle wax to be. And it just sort of helps that cream a little bit just by brightening. And there we go. Can you see? It's just helping ever so slightly, but you know, we know it's there just to help us emphasize those highlights. Okay, so that is our first candle done. Now I am quite tempted, just, I don't know, I just feel like it needs something a bit more to deepen, deepen up that wax a little bit. Um, whoops, knocking over the sharpener. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Okay, let's try the Beige Sienna, which is PC1080, and let's just try adding a bit of that. I just feel like it needs, yeah, there we go. just feel like it needs deepening up in a few areas, just to really show the layers of that candle wax. Bring it in there a little bit. 
As you can see, you just don't need to put heavy pressure. You really don't. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little bit happier with that. Okay, and then what we can do... Um, I don't know if I've got... I've got a really thin, like, scar. Um, let's have a look. I think I do. So I've got a white Posca in PC1M, which is this nib here, which I absolutely love. And then I'm just going to add some highlights with the Posca just in a few places. It doesn't have to be on, on every bit, but I just really want to you know, get that, that brightness going. So it's not super noticeable, but you know, we kind of, we know it's there. So that is the wax of our first candle. Now, I think maybe if I had a cream or an ivory Posca, I might have been tempted to sort of white out, you know, the lines on this. Um, I have a really pale yellow but that's just it's not gonna work so I'm just gonna keep the lines as they are so let's move on to our next one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull in the beige sienna this time as our shadow color so beige sienna PC 1080 and I'm just gonna do on this candle the same as the other one so we have this is kind of like our shadow color and it just gives a little bit of dimension then for the wax that's kind of dripped down over the top um, and sort of where it's in like layers So we'll just do that quite gently. Again, I'm just using a medium to light pressure here. Okay. A little bit there. Okay, then we're going to go in with the Seashell Pink, um, PC1093. Little circles and just bring out that beige sienna a smidge. Just a little bit, just to soften the edges. And then that will help give us a more smoother blend into our next our next colour which is you know we're getting into then our lighter colours okay then we have peach beige PC1085 going to put that over the colours we've used already but also bring that out a little bit and 
and then we have our cream which is PC914 And then the Luminance um, Buff Titanium, which is 801. I just want to put a little bit more cream on here. And then again, we've got our white Posca. Just re-emphasize some of those highlights. Doesn't look like my pen's really doing much, does it? <laughs> Ugh. So that is our second candle. So what I'm going to do is just finish this one, our third one, off camera and then we will come back and we will have a look at um, maybe the, the body of the beetle, maybe we'll do that. Um, I was going to say the flames but I do want to have a look up um, for light sources and things. So we'll probably come back to the flames, but we'll, we will work on the body of our beetle or maybe even the potion here because I don't think this page is going to take us too long. So I will just do the body of this other candle and I will be right back. Okay, so um, here we are. It is, oh my goodness, about a week. I want to say about a week um, after the... Um, first part that you have just watched there's just been a lot going on so I do apologize for the delay in getting this done but here is what our candles are looking like I am happy with them um, as I mentioned I will put all of the color combinations down in the video description for you along with on the screen as we are using them so I think what I would like to work on now um, having a look at the page is the potion yeah um i think i'm going to do a green background um and that will highly likely be with watercolors now whether that is in the sense of um maybe my diamond ink tents um neo color twos you know i'll just I'll, I'll see but i do plan on doing a watercolor background on this um, and I think what I will do is have the lighter colour in the middle and obviously around the candles and things and then sort of, f you know, have that fading out so we have the darker here around the edges. Okay, so the colours that I have pulled out for the potion, again, this is using the Prismacolors. So we have Dioxazine Purple Hue, which is PC one three two then palmer violet which is pc1008 and lilac 
Oops. If the camera will focus. I don't know if it's going to. <laughs> there we go. PC956. Um, and I think maybe for a little bit of a highlight, if needed, I am going to go in with my Caran d'Ache Illuminance in the colour of Titanium. And this is 801. Okay, so let's just start <clears throat> by going in with the lilac. I'm going to zoom you guys in. Okay, I hope that that is okay. So we'll just get a light layer of this colour put down here in the potion. So like I said, I really do apologise for the delay in this. Um, yeah, there's just been a lot going on, but um, I'm glad to be sat here this morning. Um, finally, getting back to this video. I've got quite a few videos I need to do. So... I think the rest of this week is going to be quite busy. But yeah, I just want to give us a base of the colour here. And then we can work on top and build our gradient. And then we can add some sparkles and all that good stuff later now I'm just going up to this line here on our glass bottle I'm not going any further than that Such a pretty colour. I know that some of these colours I think are discontinued and Prismacolor have replaced them with something different. Now I, I don't have the new colours, I'm just using sort of what I have in my arsenal at the moment. <clears throat> but if you're not sure what the new colours are, um, then I can try and find out for you. If that's something you're interested in. So all I'm doing now is going in with the dioxazine purple hue, which is PC132. Again, all the information will be up here on the screen for you. I'm just going to use this around the edge. <coughs> Excuse me. So... And do it sort of a little bit darker around the edges and then just gradiate it in. Now I don't want to put down too much pressure too quick. Um, I want to try and avoid a wax bloom. So I'm just going to work, you know, slowly but surely. And, you know, everyone uses their pencils different. It's whatever works for you, but this is just a way that I find works better for me with the prismas. Um, so I'm just going to kind of stick to stick to what I know. So I'm just going to go all the way around the edge here. So if you are participating, I really hope that you are enjoying this page so far. I 
know that some of you have completed it already and wow <laughs> your pages are amazing and huge huge well done for getting your page done before me i mean to be honest it's not difficult i'm i'm a slow colorist especially when it comes to pencils but i love the results that i get um you know when i when i take the time um So I think the little bits here around the edges, around this frame, all this, I will probably do that off camera, but the main bulk of this I will do on camera with you. You don't have to colour the page with the same colours or materials as me, um, but I'm just talking you through it step by step with my process if you do want to follow along. But if you are participating in the full book colour along, please just you know feel free to colour your pages however makes you happy. And that is the main thing. However makes you happy and just have fun. That's what our colouring books are for. I know that me personally, I'm very guilty of often um, taking my colouring a bit too seriously. You know? But, you know, I'm, I'm trying to loosen up a little bit. <laughs> it's, it's hard, especially when, you know, it's sort of some of my really, really beloved books. Um... Um, and books that are sort of project books with, with friends. It's, um, yeah, you know, obviously I, I want all my books to look nice, but some are just a lot more relaxed. Um, and then others are kind of my more serious and take your time books. Okay. Okay, so I'm now going to go in with the Parma Violet, which is PC1008. And I'm going to bring that over the dioxazin purple hue and then gradiate that out a bit more as well. been using this colour combination um, in the Polar Bear Adventure Cruise book that I purchased um, a while back from Amazon Japan and um, yeah I am loving how the prisms work on that paper I've never used them on that paper before and they're working a dream so yeah and like I said I'm really enjoying the, the combination of these purples at the moment said they are really working beautifully on um, on that other paper 
so lovely. I feel like I want to go back in with the dioxin purple hue just where we've got these bugs. I want to put a bit of a shadow underneath of them. And just sort of go around their bodies. Do that up under here as well. Okay, and what we'll do is go back in with the palm of eyelet and again just gradiate that out a bit. And then we're going to go in with the lilac, which is PC956, and just bring these colours together here. So there is kind of like a, a light, you know, rough guide here to our colours for the potion. So what I'm going to do is give this another layer or two with the exact same three colours. So I will quickly do that and then we will be back. Okay, so this has had another two layers with the, <coughs> excuse me, with the Prismacolor pencils. What I'm going to do now is go in with the um, Caran d'Ache Luminance in the colour Buff Titanium and just really push that pigment in um, and kind of concentrate it around the stars and the little sort of the little dots because this will also um, emphasise a highlight here for us as well. So I just want to keep this kind of on the the lighter colours if I can. And like I said, just really kind of work, work that in.
can always add in um, a bit of a light around them. I don't know, maybe with a paint pen or something. But right now, I just want to... I just want to concentrate on this beautiful pencil to just push that pigment of the prismas into the paper whilst also giving us a really lovely and natural looking highlight and we will go in in a minute with a gel pen So I am liking how this is looking so far and with your page just play around with it until you feel happy. Okay, so I think what I would like to do is on the, whoops, um, these little like the little bubbles I kind of like to give that like a sparkly silver so <clears throat> I'm going to use the Pentel hybrid dual metallic in silver and this will give us a really beautiful sparkly silver Maybe I'll just concentrate on the the ones in the potion at the moment and I'll do the rest do the rest later once we've figured out the rest of the glass bottle So then if I just lift the page a bit and there you go, you can see those purple, sorry, <laughs> silver, uh, silver bubbles there. So I think that's looking really, really cute. Um, what I'm going to do is grab some of my um, handmade watercolour and we're going to use that to paint these stars here in the bottle. So give me two seconds, I'll grab some paint and we'll be right back. Okay, so for the stars in here, I am going to be using the Fool's Gold, this one here. This beautiful watercolour by the lovely Rebecca at The Art Spirits. I will link her YouTube channel and Etsy shop down in the description for you. So I'm just gonna try, try being the operative word. To do this as neatly as I can. The Fool's Gold is probably my favourite in all of my handmade watercolour paints. 
really do have a soft spot for this gold. So it's just going to look so pretty, especially when the when the light hits the page. This will look beautiful. I picked out the finest uh, paintbrush that I have. It's a Pro Art um, 3.0. Um, I believe I picked um, this brush up. Now, it was either from Hobbycraft or a local art shop in town. I think it might have been the art shop in town. Um, but Hobbycraft do have a really lovely selection of all different kinds of paintbrushes and shapes and sizes. It's like a kid in a sweet shop when I go in there. <laughs> okay, there will be one more just in here. So that's our stars done. Just dry off the brush. So I know the paint is wet at the moment, but let's just see. Look at that. Now this one's a little bit wonky here, but there you go really really liking how that is looking at the moment so i'm just gonna zoom out okay so here is our page so far i know i haven't got an awful lot done um but i do have other videos that i need to get to so um i will call this a video for today in the next one we will come in and we will work on the bugs but what i do plan on doing off camera is doing these little wisps here in the same purples that we have used down here um so i will do that and i am going to color the little you know the little symbols and things around the edges so thank you all so so incredibly much for joining i hope you've enjoyed part one of our full book colour along from Tales from the Witch's Cottage by Hannah Carlson. Again I will put all the colour combinations in the description for you and um, whilst we were using those combinations you would have seen them just up here on the screen as well.
If you've got any questions, then please feel free to leave a comment down below or you can contact me on Instagram or alternatively, you can feel free to email me. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care, stay safe, my loves, and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love. Bye.